Well, you know, what Dawn just shared about um, that God is faithful and he always provides a way of escape. Sometimes for me when I'm tempted, I need a guidebook just to give me some ideas of how to overcome my temptation. And, you know, we all know that we need to exercise and we need to eat right to be physically healthy. But how can we strengthen our spirit at the same time? Author Kristen Fiola is here to talk about her new book, Spiritually Strong, which talks just about that. Kristen, welcome to Real Life. Thank you Hello. so much. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> oh, well, we're so glad you're here and you're new to our viewer family. And we just like to start off by um, asking you to share about yourself. So tell us where do you live and your family and how you got involved in uh, a, this writing of this book. Well, I am married to Justin, and we've been married 17 and a half years. Yay! And we live in Springfield, Missouri, okay. and we have two daughters, Isabel, who's 11, she's in fifth grade, and Jocelyn, who's nine, and she's in third grade. So we keep very busy. Yes, you sure do. Yeah. How did you start with uh, involved in the writing a book? I hate to say just physical. I know you were a personal trainer, but you right. also, how did that all come about, the integration of all of this? Well, after my first book was released, The Ultimate Guide to the Daniel Fast, I had several people, and still do, people that went through the program say, how can I do this for life? How can I make good food choices and stay regular with my Bible study? Mm -hmm. And so that really got my wheels turning. Mm -hmm. And so I, I was able to combine, and the Lord just showed me, you know, it's, it's, a dis it's, it's about discipline. Mm -hmm. And so that's really where it started. And as I was writing the book, it was a lot of fun to write because it combined my passions of helping people get physically fit and spiritually fit as well. So mm -hmm. I'm so thankful the Lord just brought me this opportunity. Amen. Well, it is a wonderful tool, you. you know, for anybody wanting to grow and mature in God because you talk about, and I don't want to steal your thunder because <laughs> I think it's awesome, but if you would address the core in the natural and then as well in the spiritual, which right. is in your book, it's just mm -hmm. a huge part of to me, what as believers we need to really get and digest and put into practice. Well, when you think about working out, a lot of times people will talk about the core. Right. And the core muscles are really the muscles in the center of your body. And that's where movement originates. And many times people will focus on working the extremities, their biceps, their legs, and they neglect the core. Mm -hmm. And when you neglect the core, you can be injured easily. Right. And so the same is true spiritually. We can be busy doing a lot of different things, but if we're not doing regular Bible study and prayer and some of those things that feed our spirit, right. then we're weak. Mm -hmm. And so it's really a combination, spiritually strong is, the physical and the spiritual and how there's so much correlation between the two. Right. Oh yes, and your book is called Spiritually Strong. Right. And so I think it's such an apt, uh, it's a great title for, it includes, I mean, we all want to be strong. Right. I mean, and we want to be healthy. Right. But uh, so many times we just put everything in categories. This, you know, mm -hmm. and we don't try to integrate it. And so I think that those are some helpful tips. What were some other tips you would suggest for integrating all of um, our body, soul, and spirit? Well, there are actually six disciplines in the book, mm -hmm. and I start off by talking about those disciplines before we get to the plan, the plan of action part. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's really Bible study, regular prayer, fasting, occasional fasting, mm -hmm. and healthy living, which is eating and exercise, financial stewardship, and a lot of times people are surprised to right. see that in there, mm -hmm. but that's important. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then the last one, the last discipline, which really brings it all together is serving others because mm -hmm. that's what we're here to do is love God and love people. And that's so right. if we're spiritually strong, then we're equipped to live out God's purposes. That's right. That's Isn't right. that, I mean, that's, that's so cool to it's think powerful. about those six disciplines mm -hmm. and how that all integrates, but it makes sense. Right. Mm -hmm. It really does. I just hadn't thought about it that way. What it's about amazing. you? <laughs> you know, I love this book because you have in here the breakdown, like six weeks of Bible, you mm -hmm. know, making sure you're daily in your word, but then you also have the exercises that you're to be doing. I think so often we'll pick one or the other. Well, I did my service of the day when really we are a three-part being, body, right. spirit, mm -hmm. right. mind, and we need to be operating and feeding each one of those, right. not just one. So your book really, it's a challenge, but yet on the other hand, you talk about Lynn in the beginning. I don't know if you'd just share a tidbit because yes. she had that dreadful, like how we all feel like, I don't want to go to the gym, you mm -hmm. know, and how she turned around. Right. 
Yes, when I was a personal trainer, one of my first clients was a 40-something woman, very successful businesswoman, but I could tell the first time that I saw her when we met at the gym, she was very uncomfortable, and she even told me, I hate to exercise. And I thought, <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun. She just hired me yeah. to work out with her. But the transformation that I saw in her spirit, as we started working out, she started gaining confidence, mm. and she got to the point where she actually enjoyed exercising because it helped her feel good about herself, yeah. gave her energy, and mm -hmm. those things that she dreaded before became a part of her life. And it was focusing on the core muscles and just right. teaching her the basics of how to take care of herself. And the word you used was, it was easy. It was like not as hard as right. what mm -hmm. she had thought. Mm -hmm. So I know that I was just like, where are these exercises because I need to see them. But you said that they are on your website. That's right, yes. So which we are going to have her website on our website. So go to ctvn.org right. to mm -hmm. check out Kristen's website because it has videos, correct? That's right. Of right. the actual exercises. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are 22 different exercises, okay. upper body, lower body, and core. Mm -hmm. And those videos tell you how to do it. It's oh, an instructional great. video that's as well wonderful. as modifications if oh, maybe good. you have some limitations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's very helpful for, for people so they do them correctly. Well, I, all in all, this is a great training manual. You know how mm -hmm. we talked about in the scripture earlier about how God always is faithful that any temptation, he provides a way out. And yes. so sometimes God provides authors with good handbooks to um, give us a, a way to overcome temptation. And it might be through exercise. It's a whole gamut. I like the six mm -hmm. prong kind of approach mm -hmm. that you're talking about in this book. And I just know that we only takes a baby step. And right. that's what we need to encourage y'all is that you need mm -hmm. to take a commitment to be spiritually strong. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's really, that's what we're committed to do. So oh, thank you so thank much you. for coming. We're wonderful. just so grateful thank you. Thank for you. having you come and share with us. And just know you can come to our website to um, find out more about our book. And we'll be right back.